When I was young, I loved being outside in a strong wind, watching the weed that could fly through the air. The tumbleweed, prickly Russian thistle, would bound over the landscape, be lifted into the sky, and then make stacks up against the walls that were tens of feet high. Out of the dusty sky, they would come in big numbers across vacant lots and dry farm fields. The scientific name for this plant is Salsola tragus, which means salty he-goat. The plant can grow in salty soils and is eaten when young by goats. This most invasive weed came into the Americas from the Russian steppes. There is speculation that this weed arrived in North Dakota with a load of flaxseed in the 1870s. Today, the tumbleweed is established all around the world on every continent except Antarctica. The plant starts out with a green shoot with soft spiky leaves, then turns red and finally develops into a round shape about three foot high. When it is a mature, dry plant, the hard, prickly leaves protect up to 50,000 seeds on the stem. The stem is covered from top to bottom with five vein flowers that, when dry, have a paper border covering over the seed. The success of the prickly Russian thistle is that it is a perfectly evolved seeding machine. When summer and autumn wind blows across flat plains, plowed fields, and vacant lots, the stems break off at the base, creating a giant seed ball that rolls, bounces, and flies across the land, spreading its seeds. There are patches of these weeds that are hundreds of miles long. Some farmers have even had to surrender their land to the weed. Prickly Russian thistle. The tumbleweed.